Hi friends, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to share my summer favorites with you, including books and all of the like lifestyle things like food, clothing, etc. that I have loved this summer. Now I know summer is coming to an end, but I did want to shine a light on all the things that I read this summer and loved and used this summer and loved. Um, and some of these can cross over season clothing items. The first thing are these gray sweat shorts from Airy. They have pockets, they're elastic, they have a little pocket on the back. They're just plain gray sweatshorts, but they are so comfortable and I wore them all summer long. And I would wear them right now, but I wanted to, you know, show them off. I don't know if they're still available, but they came in multiple colors. I liked the classic athletic gray. The next thing is this shirt. It's just this hot pink t-shirt from Aerie as well. I got it the same time that I got the shorts and I'm sure you have seen this in multiple videos over the summer because I just absolutely love it. It's nice and thin. It's a beautiful summer color. So those two together are like ultimate comfort. The first are these Crocs. They are platform sandal Crocs. Um, I got these later in summer. I haven't had these all summer, but I've worn them a lot. And not only do they give me a lift because I'm a shorty, but they're a beautiful color and they're so comfortable. Crocs just form to your foot in a way that like no other shoe does. And then the next pair of shoes are these white, let me hold them like this, these white Rothies. These, I don't remember what the style is called and they're not like totally white. They're more like a bone color, but y'all, the search for like shoes like this, like white flats, almost like Vans. Uh, Jordan from Sorry Book Solid has a pair of white shoes and I absolutely love them, but I have wide feet. I also have thick feet. So finding a pair of shoes that not only fit me, but were comfortable was a challenge. But I was up to that challenge this summer. I was like bound and determined to find a pair of white shoes that I could wear with like shorts, with sundresses, all of the things. And I found these and they're so comfortable. I have several pairs of earrings that I've been wearing all summer. First, I'm sure you've seen in a lot of videos are these gold hoops. They are the perfect size. I took these to Nashville with me, wore them there. They're just sparkly gold hoops. And I'm not gonna be able to link these. I found these at my local Hallmark store and I just absolutely love them. They're super light, they're big. I just, I love them. And then also these like twist, I think these are called the Paris. These are from Ana Luisa. I believe I got these last year and they're like the perfectly weighted, smaller, like cute twisted hoop. Um, and I just, I love those so much. And then I got some really fun earrings from a local polymer clay business. So here is one of the earrings, the um, sand dollar one. And then I also got this shell one with a little pearl drop on the bottom. And these are from Bayside Clay. So I've been wearing these all summer as well as these all summer. And of course the hoops as well. But these are probably my top four favorite pair of earrings of the summer. All right, I guess we'll go ahead and jump into some beauty favorites. I have a couple things in my basket of tricks to share with you. The first is this NYX Fill and Fluff Professional uh, Eyebrow Pencil in the color Blonde that you use to fill in your brows. And then on the other side, it has a nice fluffy brush to brush them out. So I've been loving this and using it all summer long. Thank you. 
Okay, a couple of other things. I got a peppermint roller ball. I just ordered this off of Amazon. I've been dealing with a lot of migraines this summer and this has really been helping with that. I put it on my temples and across my forehead and on the other temple. Um, I do have peppermint oil, but I was telling my patrons that I use like the bottle when I put it on my finger and then I do it. I was like, but be careful. Like if you rub your eyes afterwards, your eyes are gonna be stinging. And they were like, Gwen, just get a roller ball. And I was like, you're so right. So I did that and it's worked miracles. Um, I also have a couple of e.l.f. products here. I have the e.l.f. Um, Holy Hydration Eye Cream. I got this recommendation from Jessie from Reading With Jess. She uses this and it's just a normal eye cream and it has just like a normal like unscented lotion scent. And then I have been using the Holy Hydration daily moisturizer um, and I do two pumps of this and I just love it so I put that on before any of my makeup and it goes really well and then you've probably seen me flashing this around I got this at the Dollar Tree maybe 10 years ago like who knows I've had this thing forever and y'all when it gets hot I be fanning girl I be fanning I don't actually have a can of it but I've tried the Nair spray and it actually worked really, really well. It's super, super stinky, but I didn't have to shave my legs as often. I only got to use it like three times though. So I think I would have to use it on a more regular basis to call it like a favorite favorite. I mean, I haven't repurchased it. Also, like it's almost fall. So like I'm just going to let my hair on my legs grow. Um, but yeah, I did want to mention that just in case you're looking for a product like that. Cottage cheese. I have loved cottage cheese since I was a little girl. Um, I've always had it, but I feel like I eat it more in the summer because it's obviously cold and you could put fruit on it. You could put salt and pepper on it. You can eat it plain. There's lots of things that you can do with cottage cheese. You can mix it into eggs. You can use it as a spread. There's lots of options with cottage cheese, but I absolutely love it. But I know it's a texture thing for some people and I know some people hate it, but I absolutely love it. My next food item is a salsa. This particular salsa. This is from the international food section, like around like the, like where you would find the tortillas and like the, you know, things like that, like to make tacos. I have been on the hunt for a restaurant style runnier, but with a few chunks salsa. I like the salsa at this one Mexican restaurant and I'm like, I need to find that salsa. <laughs> so I've tried out a couple of different salsas this summer and this is my absolute favorite. I will go through this jar in a couple of days. It's that good. So this is the La Cos Costina home style Mexican salsa and it is so good. All right, a few more things in my basket and then we'll get to a couple of other things. Um, I wanna talk to you about these two devotionals really quick. These have been my devotionals of the summer. Um, the first is Worry Less, Pray More, A Woman's Devotional Guide to Anxiety-Free Living. I do deal with anxiety, so this has been really helpful. And there's just something about opening up and feeling so seen and so like, I don't know, like safe to explore my anxiety through something like this. So if you have anxiety like I do um, and you're looking for something, I will have this linked down below. I did get it off of Amazon. And then another Amazon find was The Beach is Calling, 90 Devotions for Rest and Relaxation. This is super cute, perfect for summer. Um, and yeah, I just, I've really enjoyed this one as well. Of course, I have to talk about my AirPod Maxes. Um, I made a video when I got them and then a lot of you guys have reached out to me. Maybe like seven to 10 people have reached out to me and asked me questions. How are you liking them? How are they holding up? Are they dirty? Do they still work as good as, you know, the day that you got them? And the answer is these are amazing. I love these so much. They are the best noise canceling headphones that I have ever owned. Um, and they are a little bit heavier than normal headphones, but I just think that's because of the technology and the sound and the noise cancellation and all of that. But it comes in this little like case that I keep them in and it's magnetic on the front and then you take them out and this is what they look like. 
Um, so this band right here is a mesh and it does not get dirty. Like, unless your hair is like dirty. I don't see this getting dirty. Um, now these right here do get dirty. Um, obviously you wear them, you know, over your ears. And if you have makeup on like I do today, it will come off on these things but they pop off. <laughs> so you can literally pop them off and pop them on, which means that you can wash them. Now they do have care instructions on their website, but I'll tell you what I did is I took them off. I used um, some laundry soap and a toothbrush and I scrubbed this and patted it dry like as much as I could. And then you have to let it dry for 24 hours before you reattach it. Just make sure that this is really, really dry. Uh, but yeah, it's just a magnet right on there. And look, they're pretty clean. I cleaned them a little while ago, but you can tell they're fairly clean. Um, but yeah, and they were, I should have done like a before and after. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that in the future, but yeah. You can clean this part. I'm sure you can clean this part as well because it's mesh, but they hold up really nice and they're just so great. Okay, a couple more things to share with you. Uh, the first is Cozy Hobbies. I tried some diamond painting. I am working on this coaster set. Uh, Zoe from Zoe Delaney is the person that got me into diamond painting. It comes with the little drills and the little like wax pen and stuff. Um, but basically, here's a current work in progress but there are these little coasters and I've done quite a few of them. I only have like one and a half to go. I'll show you the ones that I finished. These are the ones that I have finished. <laughs> I love them and I am planning to use them as coasters um, when I finish all of the coasters. I got this set on Amazon and they have a whole bunch of different designs. So if you just search diamond painting coasters, I'll try to link these exact ones in the description box down below for you. All right, so we're going on a little bit of a field trip just across the room right here. I wanted to show you this paint by number set that I am currently working on. You can see that I still have a long way to go up here. I haven't worked on it in a while, but I really am having fun with this so far. Far. And the last thing I want to show you is this chair. It is like a beanbag style chair. It is super comfortable. It's usually in my living room. I brought it back here specifically for the video so I could show it in all of its glory. Let's move this so you can see it. It's short, but it is so comfortable. Yeah, it's like a short beanbag chair shaped like a chair and I just absolutely love it. It's so comfortable. You've seen Charlie in it in my videos. She loves it and I will link this chair down in the description box for you guys. All right, now I'm going to be sharing my favorite books of the summer. There are eight books and instead of giving you like a full synopsis and my full thoughts and all that, I'm going to give you some buzzwords to hopefully sell you on the books. That's my goal. But if you want a full in-depth review, check me out on Goodreads and The Story Graph or consider joining my Patreon, which is linked in the description box. Over there, I do monthly reading wrap-ups for every single book that I read, many reviews of all the books. So let's go ahead and start off with Same Time Next Summer by Annabelle Monaghan. I wrote down some descriptive words. I said it's beachy. It's the summer I turned pretty for adults. It's a second chance romance and it's very self-aware and swoony. So if you like those buzzwords, consider checking this one out. The next five star read of the summer was Happy Place by Emily Henry. And unfortunately, I don't think as many people are going to love this as her previous books, because this is much more of a friendship story than it is a romance. But it does have a second chance fake dating romance in it. And I absolutely loved it. Next up is a Sleep When I'm Dead book club pick that I absolutely loved. And that is The Only One Left by Riley Sager. So the descriptive works for this are gothic, slow paced, and creepy seaside manner. So if any of that sounds good to you, then definitely consider it. Next is a book that I read for the Midnight Society hosted by Elizabeth from Reading Riley, and that is The Odds by Jeff Strand. For this one, I said it's intense, a little ridiculous, and thrilling 
what would you do type situation. Last Night at the Lobster by Stuart Onan, another short book that I absolutely adored. It's short, it takes place over a couple of hours, it's very unique, and if you're obsessed with like food, restaurant industry stuff, consider it. Like I said, very short, won't take you long to read. Three more books. Next up was Dark Corners by Megan Golden. And for this one, I said it has an excellent audiobook. It has podcast elements and it's not dark and there's no smut. I had to include my favorite graphic novel and that is Ballad for Sophie. This was a pretty new like read of mine. It's heartbreaking, it's beautiful, it's something special. And if you like The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid, I think you might also enjoy this one. And last but not least, When in Rome by Sarah Adams. Oh, this was so cute. I talk about this in my back to school readathon vlog. For this one, I said it's wholesome. It's set in a small town. It has the grumpy sunshine trope and it has characters that you'll fall in love with. So those were my favorite books of the summer. Those were some of my items that really worked for me this summer and I hope that you consider checking them out. Like I said, I will have links to every everything down in the description box that I possibly can. But yeah, thank you for tuning in. If you like videos like this, consider subscribing to my channel if you aren't already. Leave it a thumbs up if you already are subscribed. Leave a sun emoji in the comment section down below if you can't think of anything else to leave. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a beautiful day or night and I'll see you guys again in another video very soon. Bye friends! <laughs>